this video you will learn how to make a vending machine that will send you a notification when you will sell something. The easier one will send you the notification only once. With the second design it will keep sending you the message until you will disable the pager. The only disadvantage of the second design is that you will need to get inside the vending machine base in order to reset the notification system. The third and the last design also will keep sending you the notification until you will disable the pager. But in this design you will be able to use an RF transmitter in order to reset the system without going inside the vending machine base. For the first design you will need a solar panel, a wire tool, a small rechargeable battery, a storage monitor, an RF broadcaster and a pager. Now place the small battery on one side of the vending machine. Next get on top of the roof and place the large solar panel facing the north direction. Immediately after use the wire tool in order to connect the electric output of the solar panel with the power in of the battery. Now place the storage monitor on top of the vending machine. While the RF transmitter on the ground close to the vending machine. Now using the wire tool connect the power output of the battery with the power in of the storage monitor. Then connect the output of the storage monitor to the RF transmitter power in. At this point you have to interact with the RF transmitter in order to set the frequency. Set it to a number between 1 and 10,000. Immediately after open your inventory, select the RF pager and you will be able to use the set frequency option. Set it to the same frequency of the RF transmitter. Now if the amount of items in the vending machine will change, you will receive a message to the pager. If you want to avoid that other players will hear it as well, you have to select the pager and choose the silent on option. To improve this design you will need a timer and a splitter. Place the splitter above the battery and connect the power output of the battery with the power in of the splitter. Then connect one of the power output of the splitter with the power in of the storage monitor. Immediately after place down the timer. Connect the second power out of the splitter with the electric input of the timer. The storage monitor output with the timer toggle on. Then finally the timer output with the RF broadcaster power in. Now looking at the timer you have to hold the interaction button and choose the set timer duration option. Here you have to write for how many seconds you want that the pager will alert you that the vending machine sold something. As a result, instead of notifying you only for one second, it will notify you for a longer period that will help you to not miss this message. For the second design you will need a large solar panel, a wire tool, a small rechargeable battery, a splitter, a storage monitor, a RF transmitter, a memory cell, a switch and the RF pager. Start by placing the battery on the right side of the vending machine. Follow it by the large solar panel facing the north direction on the roof. Then connect the electrical output of the solar panel with the small rechargeable battery power in. Immediately after place the splitter above the battery. Then connect the power output of the small rechargeable battery with the power in of the splitter. Next place the storage monitor above the vending machine and the RF transmitter on the ground on the opposite side of the battery. Now connect the first power out of the splitter with the power in of the storage monitor. Time to place the memory cell on the wall. Then connect the power out of the splitter with the power in of the memory cell. Next the output of the storage monitor to the set of the memory cell. While the output of the memory cell has to be connected to the RF transmitter power in. Don't forget to set the RF transmitter and the RF pager to the same frequency. 
Now, if the amount of items in the vending machine will change, you will start receiving the alert message. Even if you will stop the pager, the system won't work anymore. To solve this problem, it's time to place the switch. Connect the last power out of the splitter with the electric input of the switch, then the switch output with the memory cell reset. At this point, if you will turn on then off the switch, it will reset the system, allowing you to receive new messages if the amount of the vending machine items will change again. For the third design, you will need a large solar panel, a wire tool, a small rechargeable battery, a splitter, a storage monitor, a RF transmitter, a memory cell, a RF receiver, a RF pager and a RF transmitter. Start placing the battery on the right side of the vending machine. The large solar panel on the roof facing the north direction. Then using the wire tool connect the electric output of the solar panel with the power in of the small rechargeable battery. Next place the splitter above the battery. Connect the power output of the battery with the power in of the splitter. Next place the storage monitor on top of the vending machine and the RF transmitter on the ground nearby. Connect the first power out of the splitter uh, with the power in of the storage monitor. Then it's time to place the memory cell on the wall. Connect the second power output of the splitter with the power in of the memory cell. The output of the storage monitor with the set of the memory cell. The output of the memory cell with the power in of the RF transmitter. And don't forget to set the frequency of the transmitter to the same of the pager. Time to place on the ground the RF receiver. Connect that third power out of the splitter with the power in of the RF receiver. Weld the power out of the RF receiver to the reset of the memory cell. Time to interact with the RF receiver and set it to a different frequency. You need to set to the same frequency also the portable RF transmitter you have. As a result, by using the portable RF transmitter, you will send the message to reset the system. Meaning that if the amount of items will change again in the vending machine, you will receive a new message. Keep in mind that the portable RF transmitter has an unlimited range, so you can use it from any part of the map. So, a good idea is to store the RF transmitter and the pager inside a chest in your mine bay, so you can use them in a safe location.